Hello and welcome to another video on the scripting tutorial channel. Uh, today in this video we're going to be creating a custom whitelist command which essentially allows you to lock down your server and only allow certain players to join if it's enabled. So these are all the commands we're going to be creating today. Let's start out with our base command. Command whitelist and then we're going to accept a text argument first and then we're going to accept an offline player argument second. We're going to add a permission of whitelist dot admin because obviously you don't want any player to be able to run this command so our first one is if arg1 is on so this will enable the whitelist so we're going to set a variable called whitelist status to true send the whitelist has been enabled add a wee bit of color in there to make it look nice we can also do the same with whitelist off, else if arg1 is off, we are just going to delete the variable and send the whitelist has been disabled, so that will be red. The next thing we're going to do is add player to the whitelist, so else if arg1 is add, and we also need to check if arg2 is set, so if they've entered in a player, let's just do our else, so send you must enter a player to add to the whitelist. So we're just going to add a player to a variable called whitelist players and that is going to be a list variable so we need this wee bit at the end. And then send a wee confirmation message added arc to, oh see I made a mistake there it's not adding player that would add the player who ran the command we need to add arc2 to the whitelist. Added arc2 to the whitelist. We also want to do remove so it is essentially the same but just reversing the process if arg1 is remove if arg2 is set remove arg2 from whitelist players send removed in red arg2 from the whitelist and then also our else just to make sure they're actually adding a player you must enter a player to remove from the whitelist. On our final command, else if arg1 is list, uh, send whitelist, and then let's just make it look, look nice. Size of, and then our whitelist players variable. And then uh, we're just going to, send the variable to be honest so it won't look the best but it'll work and also we're going to add a wee bit here else so this will be if none of these have been set or if there is no arguments it'll like send a, a default message send command usage and then we'll just do whitelist on off remove add remove list and then player is optional but we actually need to create the functionality that will kick the player if the whitelist is enabled when they join. I tried with onConnect earlier, but that didn't seem to work. OnConnect is basically the process before onJoin, I believe. So we'll just stick to onJoin if whitelist status is true. So that means if the whitelist is set. And then if whitelist players does not contain player so that means if they have not been added to the whitelist kick player due to whitelist enabled so they cannot join reload the file no errors if we type in whitelist it should give us a debug message yet yeah. command usage so whitelist on whitelist add 1c7 so that's myself so if we leave and then join i should be able to join yes no worries uh yeah, whitelist, there's one player on it and it's me. If we add other players, uh, whitelist list three. But now if I remove myself, oh, so obviously I spelt my name wrong there. You could also add a condition to check if the player is actually in the list before you remove them. Same with adding them, just to, pre just to prevent stuff like that. So whitelist remove. 1c7 whitelist list so I'm no longer in it if I try and join it will not work so that is today's video I hope you did enjoy if you did leave a like and subscribe